books. They'll read them eventually, right? Well, everyone knows that I love to read, thus my collection of books. But when it comes to buying books, that's one thing I dread. Like, for a school book, they want $200 freaking dollars for a book? Come on. Who would want to pay that much? And this textbook you only use four months out of your life. It's like, today, I had to buy some textbooks. Well, I had the choice of either buying or renting. Well, I went with renting with these ones because I know I won't use them after this trimester. Which is totally a waste because if I were to bought it used, a textbook I had would cost like $130. For it new, is $172. There's maybe, how do you even like 600 pages in the damn thing? It's like, some of the novels I read have, you know, 600 or more pages in it. It's only 20 bucks. And when you go to college, you don't have any money. So why do people think you have it if you don't have money? Well, good luck with that. It's like... I'm renting two of the books, so pretty much I got two books for the price of one. I just gotta return it, and I can't write in the thing either. Which, highlighting is like one of the most key importance when it comes to a textbook. I mean, one of my college textbooks I used over the summer, it's colorful. Now because I use like five different highlighters, so it's helped me learn. So, other ones I rent, well I rented a math book and a geography book. I wouldn't write in the math book. Well, maybe for the answers, but I can't do that this time. My geography book, on the other hand, may have come in handy if I bought it used because then I could highlight. But since I'm only going to be in the class for four months out of the whole year, it doesn't pay to buy it. I did buy one of my books and I bought it used because I know I'm going to use it through all four of my years. Which, for $60, it was kind of worth buying it. I mean, the other ones weren't. Um... Also, I bought my English books, which were actually four. So I have seven tech, seven textbooks total. And, well, for the other books, it doesn't pay if I sell them back. They're only maybe five bucks a piece, which I'll probably reread at least two of them again. Because I like mythology, but... How they think we're made out of money and we're not. So feel free to donate to the JD Fund. Um, we are currently taking donations. To anything might help us. Uh, <laughs> but paying for textbooks is something wrong. It should come with intuition for college because it's insane. And it's like, um, one of my friends, they're going to a college in the cities, and like for laundry, it comes with tuition. I have to pay a buck to wash, buck to dry. I lived in apartments all my life, so it was the same price to me, so it doesn't really bug me that much, but she gets it free. But then again, she has to pay like $500 per semester for a parking permit, so I don't have a car, I have a bike, so I kind of win there. Um... But it's like, they think we're made out of money. The colleges in the cities, like a dorm fee, is like out of the sky. I only pay maybe 2000 a semester, so 4000 a year. And I have the pretty basics. I have a bed, I have a desk, a closet, and a community bathroom that smells like something you have at a cabin. Yeah, it's lovely. Um, I got a nice view of the river though. I'm just going to kind of see it through my window. Might not because of the glare, but once fall and winter come, it's going to be a sight to see. Well, at least I'm only taking four classes, so it was only seven books. But when you try to juggle homework, class, work, it's like, uh, migraine in the process. So, when you buy textbooks, try to buy, I mean, 
well, first, if you do buy, like if you know you're going to reuse the book, buy it used. They're really good quality, and most of the time they're not written in. But if you're only going to use it for like one semester, I would definitely rent. You get sometimes 40 to 60% off original price. All you got to do is return it the week of finals, and it's might as well save, you know, the money because you'll definitely use it. And then it helps pay for books for spring semester. Or in my case, if I do summer classes again, it pays for summer books eventually. Um, yeah. S another rule. Yeah, the, the money rules of college. One, save your, save your money. Two, don't spend it on little shit that you could live without. Like, take a soda from a pop machine, for example. You can live without that soda. Go to the drinking fountain. You're saving a buck fifty for something that you could go to Walmart and get a 12 pack for two dollars. One, it lasts for like for me, it lasts me, you know, almost a couple weeks. But well, lately I, I'm giving out my pop, so. Um, about two weeks for a 12 pack of pop. I'm kind of getting addicted back to caffeine, which is, which isn't good. <laughs> but, and then like eating out, you don't have the money to do that. Like I can't understand people who do that. Eat at the school's cafeteria if you have to, or make your food. Ramen and mac and cheese is your best friend. <laughs> I actually have been kind of veering away from the ramen. I've had ramen once since I've lived here, which is pretty good. Um, I've actually cooked ramen in a fry pan. Fry pan also helps you save money because you can use that as a kettle sometimes. Um, your clothes. A person can live without buying designer clothes. Take me for example. I am wearing a shirt I paid five dollars for at Deb. And I've had it for over a year and a half, which is pretty damn good for a shirt for me. Pants on the other hand, nah. which pretty good that I do pretty good at that. But even though with all designer clothes, I actually I shop at like Walmart is a good place for a t-shirt. Um, secondhand stores is really good, like play well sometimes Play-Dohs. Um, there's a few, um, sink, um, what's it called? There's a few in where I'm from where you can get really cheap clothes. Like, I bought my prom dress at a secondhand store. I mean, it was the most gorgeous dress I've seen there. And, I mean, for $30 for something that was originally 200 it was totally worth it. So, be wise in college. Um... Because money isn't your best friend. Your, your mind is. So common sense is the key.